Hey there, beautiful people. It's Fergie with RecordingCrave.com. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, would you go down and click the subscribe button? I would be very thankful for that. Hey, in this video, I want to talk to you guys today about mixing vocals. One of the biggest challenges I face as a mix engineer is getting the vocal to sit right. And sometimes, you know, we carve out space in the mix for the vocal, and sometimes the vocal will sit on top of the mix. A lot of pop songs today do that where the vocal is sitting on top. Let's jump into this, and I'm going to play just a portion of the song, and let's uh, get right to it. Just feel my heart is beating hard, but I can tell you why. Cause I feel like dying. That is my friend Tara. We actually co-wrote this song together. A very emotional, very dynamic song, especially for the vocals. It's extremely dynamic. And we actually recorded it. The room you see right behind me, everything, including the drums, was all recorded in this room. No fancy studio or anything. I'm very happy with the results. But let me talk to you about the signal chain that we used for recording. So the, the signal chain was... Her voice, obviously, was the main signal, and great singer, fantastic singer. But then we sang into this Blue Spark microphone, very inexpensive microphone. And at that time, the only other mic that I had was for a condenser mic was an AT4033, which I used on um, much of the rest of the songs on this album that we recorded. So from the Blue Spark microphone, I go into a Vintec 273, which is a preamp. And then I go from that Vintec 273, I will take that to the interface, which is a Focusrite Liquid 56. And then that is captured in my DAW or Pro Tools. So the other thing I want to cover with you real quick is my signal flow inside Pro Tools. So what I do is here are my three vocal channels. I group them or bus them to the Vox bus. And then I will have some additional processing on there. And then the Vox bus is sent to my submix. This channel here is my master fader, which everything feeds into. This is everything that's on my submix. And I typically put all this on after my main mix is done. I want to get it as close as possible sounding to the way I hear it. And then I'll do some fine tuning up with this. But then I'll use the o, the limiter in Ozone to have some a little bit of limiting on there every once in a while. Just to make sure that my verbs and things like that don't get out of whack. I've done it before where some of my verbs are way too strong. And that's because I didn't check them with a, a limiter on there. But you, you do it like you want. But that's that's how I do it. That is my signal flow. Then I have the, the verb that's sent from each individual channel. Delay, and then a delay throw on the chorus that you heard. Let's start with the verse vocal. And I'm going to bypass the processing on the channel to hear what the uh, take sounded like. And we'll bypass the effects as well. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And we're going to start here on the verse. Turn that up a little bit. Just feel my heart. It's beating hard, but I can tell you why. Cause I feel like dying. Oh, no more lying. So that's what it sounds like um, going through the Vintech and the Focusrite interface into Pro Tools. So you can hear it's got a little Just bit of. Feel my heart. Top end to it, a little, it's beating hard, but I can tell you. a little bit of low end, 
that I actually added on the Vintech. So now what I did for this vocal chain, let's pull this over here. I use the Plugin Alliance SSL 4000 plugin. Let me uh, unbypass that, pull the vocal back down. Cause I feel like dying Just feel my heart It's beating hard but I can tell you why So you can hear when I engage the SSL 4000 It adds some more presence and cuts a little mud out So what I did there was I need to put my glasses on because I can't see very well So what I did there was I added about 3 dB 3.5 dB of about 11.4 K. I also added at 3 K, I added 5.2. So there's pretty significant jumps there. And then I cut 813 Hertz. I cut out about 3.2 on that. And you can see the bandwidth here, not super wide and, but not super tight either. And then I added some low in there at 200 Hertz. Uh, right now I don't have any low cut or high cut on there and you can see the compression I have I think it's just kissing the needle so let me check here just feel my heart. It's beating hard, but yeah I just tell you slightly why. engaging it cause I feel like dying oh no more like okay I like that so the next thing I wanted to do was I wanted the vocal to pull forward a little bit more. What I used after that was this CLA 76 from Waves. And let's listen to that engaged. Just feel my heart. It's beating hard, but I can tell you why. Cause I feel like dying. Oh, no more lying. So obviously it added some more volume, but it also pulled the vocal closer. And on this particular vocal, I wanted the breath between the lines to stay because it just gives it a lot more intimacy and emotion in the overall sound of this that I was going for. And she just did a great job of actually even using her breath as a as an instrument for the song. She's a true musician. She just really knows how to sing well and even add little things to her vocal lines to get them to pop. And to me, this is one of them. The next thing I added was some EQs for some cuts. And I didn't do a lot of cut, I just did a roll off here. Just feel my heart. It's beating hard, but I can tell you why. And a small uh, cut around 212. I mean, negligible, probably don't even notice it. And then I added uh, a de -esser. Just feel my heart It's beating hard but I can tell you why Cause I feel like dying I didn't add too much uh, of the de because I don't want the lisp sound going I am, this song I actually mixed three years ago, three and a half years ago, and I'm in the process of remixing it. Also on here is the vocal writer, and this is just doing a little bit of automation, which isn't printed yet, but it's just uh, keeping some things in check. Just feel my heart, it's beating hard, but I can tell you why, cause I feel like dying. And you can see that uh, I have a, a narrow area of volume control on there. I don't want it going too high and too low. I just kind of want to keep it steady uh, where I have it already. So and then I'm sending that to the, the verb. So let's hear what it sounds like with the verb. Just feel my heart. It's beating hard, but I can tell you why. Right away, it just the verb added some space there and that this is very subjective how much verb you want to put on a vocal like this at in this part of the song so let's isolate that once just feel my heart 
It's beating hard, but I can tell you why. Not a lot, but it, you can hear it when it kicks in. Just feel my heart. It's beating hard, but I can tell you why. Okay, then I'm going to add the delay in. And this is very negligible. Not very much at all. Just feel my heart. Beating hard, but I can tell you why. Just feel my heart. You can just hear, slightly hear the delay inside of the reverb there. Just feel my heart. It's beating hard, but I can tell And let me show you what I'm using for the reverb. I'm using the, uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to say this, Son, Son, Sonsig uh, Reverb Bay. This is a Relab product. Uh, really great reverb. Easy to use. You can find a sound fairly quick. You can see my high decay and the brightness. I have them set at lower levels. Pre-delay is just a little bit up. You can see the tilt and uh, low tilt and diffusion. And I have it all the way on wet. And then the width is set as far over as it will go. And then I also have a little delay feeding into the reverb, and that just gives it a little bit of a longer decay. And But it's, it's more than just that. It's something to do with the delay hitting the verb that it gives it a certain sound. And it's real subtle on this track. So, and then the delay, let's bypass the verb here. Just feel my heart. Beating hard, but just feel my heart. It's beating hard, but I can tell you why. Let's go to the uh, pre chorus vocal. The treatment will probably be very similar, but I do want to show you a couple things different here. Let me uh, bypass this. And how to bypass all the inserts at once is you select the channel, go to your keyboard. Push Shift and A, and that will turn everything on or off. The only thing it won't turn on and off are the sends. Okay, so let's listen to that. But here I stand. I'm turn it up so we can get a better hear on it. With makeup running down my face. Don't need a lawyer to plead my case. I just need you to listen. Just listen, you can't fix me. Okay, that's pre-processing. There's something I do want to show you on the clip line here. I went through and automatically adjusted the clip gain through here. You can see this part here. But here I stand. With makeup running down my face. Don't so that I probably manually DS'd something there is what it looks like. Let me uh, widen that out. Face. Yeah. So I face. manually DS'd it there Don't so it wasn't so so prominent. And use clip gain. This is probably the same. Listen. Yep. Just, just. There is food. Listen. Just listen, you can't. So the other part that I did some clip gain on was the uh, part where she belts out this note. It's it's very it's very strong, and I I needed to pull it back. And uh, I think let's see where that's at. That's at zero dB. I only went down about a half dB. Fix me, cause I'm not broken. That one I came down about almost 3 dB on that whole one there. And then I bring that down because it's coming through so strong that it's pushing the compressors harder. I'm trying to not make it sound too compressed. So I'm trying to do some uh, clip gain adjustment on, on the actual track itself. And then once I go in, I have not automated the vocal yet, but once I go in there, I will just put a little bit of automation on those parts too. What I don't want I don't want it to come down so low that it sounds disconnected from the main vocal line, but I don't want it so loud that it's piercing to your ears either. So let's start engaging plugins. Okay, so here I'm using 
from Plug-in Alliance, the SSL 4000 again. And I think I might have the same exact settings. Yeah, I do. Same exact settings as the verse. But here I stand with makeup running down my face. Don't need a lawyer to plead my case. Okay, you can hear what that's doing. Then I actually, let me uh, bring that down a little bit. And then I put a CLA 76 on it as well. And I'm gonna. To it just pulls the vocal in a little closer to you, which is what I wanna do, but I want it closer yet. So what I did was I put a CLA 2A on after that. You see, the compressors will push down on the signal, but it will also pull up. And the dangerous thing about that is pulling up some unwanted noise. So that's one thing that I'm very careful on listening for. And sometimes it can be hidden in the track if, if, if there is some background noise. And sometimes you just can't do it and you really, really have to automate your, your vocal on the volume then. But these compressors have certain sounds, which is another thing that is very unique to each compressor. Now there are some compressors that are very sterile and a lot of times we just use compressors or even EQs because they have certain qualities and tonal characteristics to them. Let's hear what this does. I'm gonna bypass this and then turn it on. But here I stand with makeup running down my face. So it's pulling some of the, the tone from her voice closer to you. It's pushing down the vocal. You can see the gain reduction, but then it's also pulling up some of the tone in her voice. But here I stand with makeup running down my face. Don't need a lawyer to plead my case. I just need. You can hear what that's doing. So let's let's uh, put the RDSer on there. And I think I'm using about the same there too. But here I stand with makeup running down my face. Don't need a lawyer to plead my case. I just need you to listen. Just listen. You can fix me. Okay, now let's check the vocal writer, what we're doing here. Again, I have a narrow amount of room that I want the vocal to move in on this vocal writer. So, but here I stand you see it's pushing down. With makeup running down my voice. face. Don't need a lawyer to plead my case. I just need you to listen. Just okay, now let's engage the verb. But here the verb is going to sound stronger even though I'm using the same verb and the same delay as I am on the verse. It's just that she is singing with so much power in this section that it's, it's, pushing, it's pushing more volume through there. But here I stand With makeup running down my face Don't need a lawyer to plead my case I just need you to Let's isolate that and hear the verb. But here I stand with makeup running down my face. Don't need a lawyer to plead my case. Okay, now let's add the delay. But here I stand with makeup running down my face. Don't need a lawyer to plead my case. You can hear the delay there much stronger than you could on the verse. Uh, this is adding excitement to the overall sound. And she's just got a pretty incredible voice anyway, but we're just we're just dialing it up, putting some makeup on it, you might say. Not that it needs a lot, but uh, she's a great singer. But here I stand. Let's go up to the de delay throws here. So we'll go right there. Just listen, you can't fix me Cause I'm not broken And I'm not Okay, what I did there was I just used the H delay from Waves 
and just have it set to the tempo of the song. And then I put it on the quarter note. And then uh, you can see my wet dry there. And the feedback's really low. It's at three there. I got a high pass filter on there. So I'm letting all the highs pass through and cutting the lows out. I also added an EQ to that. So here's my EQ. So I'm cutting more lows and adding some top end so it's a little thinner sounding on the, the delay there. So I'm not sure I'm gonna keep these throws on this mix. I might, but I, I'm not, I don't know yet. Just listen, you can face me. Cause I'm not broken. And I'm not frozen. And that's all automated. So if I scroll down here, you can see where I automate that. So just listen, you can face me. Cause I'm not broken. And, I'm not and then I did the ping pong uh, stereo delay on there. So it goes one side to the other and then maybe back. And I can tighten that up too if I want. So let's go up to the, let's go next to the bus group what i have on there which i've had on the whole time of doing each each channel so what i have on the vox group or bus whatever you call it is i have the j37 the abbey road studio j37 on the bus first and i could put it anywhere so then i have a little bit of top end i'm putting on the overall group there and then I'm using the Arvox let's see what that's doing just listen you can fix me cause I'm not broken and I'm not frozen I'm gonna make it through so you can see it's just taking another three or four dB off of uh, the vocals there that's coming through there um, and it's just tightening everything up again the Arvox to me does a lot of pushing and pulling too it pulls some of the, the the lower tones but it also when it pulls the tones up it pulls any noise in the track up so you always have to be careful with that and a different compressor might work better in that case but works good for this now the biggest thing that's going to compete for the vocal space in this song are going to be the keyboards and they're going to be the guitars, which right now they're just a little chorusy guitar. But let me jump up to the next section of the song. And you'll see where the vocal starts to compete with the electric guitar quite a bit more. I may be strong, but the vocal and the guitar they each have their spot so basically there's a little bit of carving there w between the keyboard the guitars and her voice and it it's wor works out pretty well okay now I'm gonna go through my automation process and what I use when I do automation I have the Avid Artist mix so I will use the faders on those to do the mixing if I ever need to edit something real quick I might just grab my mouse and do it but uh, for the most part I like to mix with the faders. So everything's engaged and ready to go. I'm, I'm going to start at verse two and then we're going to go pretty much to the end of the song. I want to get that part a little bit louder. Everything that I have put you through. For everything that I have put you through. Mm -hmm. I heard you too. I know the truth. Just feel my heart. It's beating hard, but I can tell you why. Cause 
up right there on the chorus here. up a little more. We get that a little more too. So I like what happened there. So I'm going to keep that. Okay, that is pretty much my process. I will probably go through that a couple more times, but I think it's pretty close. You know, you notice on the end here, I didn't automate the held out notes there because at that point we have the electric guitar going. I don't want to bring it down anymore because I already did some clip gain adjustment on all those parts. And with the electric guitar going, I wanted to make sure it's, it's staying strong in those parts. And then you can see where I automated on the breathy parts on there that I wanted to come through. Now, I may go through that a couple more times just to make sure it's not too much or too little or whatever. That's about it for this song. That's how I process it, um, how I run my uh, groups. And I would love to hear from you what you do um, or if you have any troubles, what your biggest trouble with vocals are. You know, we took a very inexpensive mic and... Basically, you just ran it through to the DAW. Uh, we did have it run it through the Neve, but I will have another video showing you what the dry signal without running it through the Neve sounds like, and then adding like a Sheps 73 to see if that even comes close to working as a out piece of outboard gear in a plug-in form. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Again, I would love it if you would subscribe if you haven't yet. This is Fergie saying thank you, beautiful people. We will see you in the next video.